But first at noon, Rhode Island and southeastern Mass coated with April Fool snow. Here's the scene in Smithfield, where it certainly didn't look like spring this morning. People had to break out those snow brushes. At least it was brushes and not shovels, right, to clear off those cars and driveways. That's true. I want to see moving to Cumberland now, where people there woke up to gray skies and snow-covered lawns as well. That wet and slushy mix also coated rooftops and mailboxes as well. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo is tracking the storm from the live Pinpoint Delta 12 Forecast Center. But we begin our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage with Eyewitness News reporter Julie Roditsky. She's live in Cumberland with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. Well, it certainly looks like a winter wonderland we just did not expect this time of year. Now that baseball field behind me covered in snow, although we're starting to see some patches of green. But neighbors here tell me that this is an April Fool's joke they just did not want. And that again. Old man winter strikes again, catching residents off guard. Well, I was hoping that I'd be done with all that by now. Um, so, you know, but it is, you know, it's New England, so you never know when it's going to stop. The wet roads making for a slippery morning commute. Northern Rhode Island and Massachusetts hit the hardest. Plenty of drivers who assumed winter was long gone were forced to dig out their snow gear one last time. I put all their, their winter stuff away two weeks ago. There's their, all their boots, all their coats, they all went downstairs, all the sleds, all the shovels. So we were due to get snow. Betsy Zanka of Cumberland had her kids warm up in the car until the school bus arrived. Their after school sports already canceled. It's kind of pretty right now, but I'm, <laughs> I'm tired of being cold. I'm looking for it to warm up. Aren't we all? Now, statewide police reporting some minor accidents this morning due to those slippery roads. But in Massachusetts, they're still working to restore power to several hundred customers. Live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Julie Ruditsky, Eyewitness News.